Step by step, community activist Tracy Fan leads a group of about 35 along Whitehorse Road, being very visible to make a point. We're here to walk not the nine miles of Whitehorse Road um, to basically show that pedestrians every day walk this length of Whitehorse Road with no lighting. They say walkers are getting killed at an alarming rate on this section of the highway that runs from Berea south to Augusta Road. There's a lot of foot traffic, but then there's also a lot of vehicle traffic. And so with that, and then the lack of lighting, you know, there's bound to be, you know, someone getting hurt. More than hurt, according to the South Carolina Highway Patrol, there have been 34 deadly accidents on Whitehorse Road between 2011 and 2017, leaving 36 dead, five of those killed last year. And figures show that 22 of those deadly wrecks happened between eight at night and seven in the morning. Times when these marchers say more lighting would save more lives. We're here to experience that and hopefully to uh, spur our uh, legislators and our county councilmen to take some action here to correct uh, this problem and, and make this place safe for everyone that's out here. Well, of course, um, a lot of growth and a lot of the positive changes are happening in the downtown and Augusta Road area, but this area right here seems to be forgotten about. Better lighting has been a three-year quest for Fant, and this walk is another step to bring a serious community danger to light. John Lyon, WYFF News 4, Greenville County.